What is up y'all, welcome back. Or if this is your first time watching one of my videos, hey, how you doing? So in today's video, I'm gonna be reacting to episode 113 of My Hero Academia and last episode. I still cannot get over that. The fact that Shigaraki, dude got hella powerful. Like he beat Redestro, you know, beat him so bad and everything to where, you know, Redestro was like, became like a puppet now to him, you know, like after like, Shigaraki revealed the new name for, you know, the Meta Liberation Army. You know, he called it the Paranormal Liberation Front. Crazy name. You know, after that, like, after they announced all of that, you know, Redestro asked Shigaraki, he's like, oh, do you need anything? Like, you know, water, this, that, whatever. And Shigaraki's like, you know, no, just, just get away from me. And Redestro just dipped. He was, he was gone. So dude first became like a little bit of a threat to the meta, or not to the meta, um, became a little bit of a threat to League of Villains, is now like a puppet or like, you know, dude is now just like more of a servant to him now. So crazy. And with Shigaraki being this powerful now, the League of Villains on their own just got like 50 times more powerful. Not just because of Shigaraki, also like um, Toga, you know, now she can use quirks of people's blood that she drank. But also, they have Giganta Machina. You know, he finally decided to like, after he saw like, you know, what Shigaraki was doing against his fight with Redestro, you know, Giganta Machina was just like, yo, this dude. All right, um, I will be following him now. And that is just crazy on its own. Not only the fact that like, you know, like, they had Giganta Machia, and then they also have the Metal Liberation Army on their side. So, the League of Villains got so many members behind them. Like, this war, this war is about to be crazy. Cr just, it's about to be insane. But yeah, also, apparently this is going to be the last episode for the season. And honestly, I'm kind of not mad about that. Because if this is going to be the last episode for the season, which most likely it is, then that means this season is going to be crazy. Or this season, this last episode for the season is going to be crazy. And which means for next season, most likely it's just going to be story and action the entire time. You know, no, there's not going to be any kind of like, I guess, development with characters or anything. It's just going to be story, action, war stuff. That's all it's going to be, and I'm perfectly fine with that if this season we don't get, like, the full-on war or anything, or, like, yeah, just, I'm fine with, like, them not putting, like, the war in this season and saving it for next season because that means they could just focus on that, and you know the animation for that, for that war is going to be insane. So, again, I, I'm kind of perfectly fine with, like, this episode being the last one for the season, but at the same time, obviously, it's like, I don't want this season to end because this season was so good, but, you know, next season, it's just gonna be bangers after bangers after bangers. But yeah, with all that out of the way, you know, this was a quick intro. So, before I start the reaction, y'all know what to do. First, hit that subscribe button. Grab your snacks, grab your drinks. And once you do all that, all right, let's watch some anime. And Shigaraki as a Grand Commander of this Paranormal Liberation Front. Oh, Hawks was there too! Oh, Hawks! Oh, yes, Hawks. So, Best Genus was in there! Wait, he said whether it's real or not? So, does that mean there's a possibility Best Genus is still alive? Dude, I still get over that, like, there's this, like, picture I saw on Twitter, like, uh, Redestro looks like Doofenshmirtz from Phineas and Ferb. I cannot unsee that anymore. You can now you can destroy just not what you touch, but whatever is connected. Bro, Sugar Rocky, how the hell is he gonna get this much powerful? Yeah, and they're gonna give him even more power. Like, dude, he's about to be OP. Yeah, his arm, like like I said in the last episode, like his arm looks like Deku after like a fight early like in the early like in like the early seasons. 
Yeah, like I, I can't wait to see just like just how much more powerful Shigaraki is gonna be after this whole thing. Hold on, I gotta replay this thing again. It's like I know he said like this experiment was like something that he was conducting for like all for one at first, but like now he's gonna give it to Shigaraki. So he couldn't this like research or whatever the the um, the doctor is doing. He really couldn't do it for all for one because like you said like. You know, quirks were becoming mixed and everything, you know, they were becoming more complex and all this and that. So he really couldn't do it. But now it looks like he's definitely going to do it for Shigaraki. And like I said, like just how much powerful is this dude going to be? Like dude is already like, dude is already crazy powerful. But now they're just going to make him even more powerful than ever. Man, oh, this, this visual is crazy. That visual was really good. Man, they're just straight up teasing us just like how powerful Shigaraki is about to become. I think what, they're like, are they like hinting at the fact that like Shigaraki might even become more powerful than All For One? Like, dude is about to be wild. And now we're back in the present storyline. Man, we haven't seen them in forever, it feels like. We have not seen Class 1A in so long. Damn. Aoyama has a new move. It's a saber now. Yo, did it just reflect off of her? Yo. They're a perfect team, for sure. Yo, she pretty much like covered herself with her acid. What? So I guess like, I guess this whole thing is now seeing like the results of their um, internship now. Yeah, because all we know about like, all like the only ones who we know, like the results of their internship was obviously like Deku, Todoroki and Bakugo, but now we're gonna see everyone else's like like how strong they got during their internship Oh, so she got that idea from Kiroshima. Oh, that's sweet Her acid armor was because of him. That's nice Bro, they're all like they're all so much better now. It's crazy. What, the internship was only about like a week or something? And they got this much powerful. Like, their teamwork is crazy now. Man, I cannot wait to see everyone in Class 1A participate in this war. It's not even Class 1A, I think. It's like also Class 1B. Cannot wait to see all of them be a part of this war. Oh, and this. It's been so long since we've seen them. I mean, Deku was there too, don't forget about that. There you go. Come on, show off that new quirk. Show off that new quirk. Is he gonna show it off? Is he gonna show it off? Yes, look at that! Look at that! Oh! Yo! He's getting so good with it! Yo, both Deku and Shigaraki got so much power, more powerful in this, like, season alone. Yo! <laughs> It's crazy. Oh, that was nice. That was nice seeing like everyone like how much stronger they've gotten during their internship. That was nice. That he's impressing his waifu. Uh man, that moment was nice though. Like when Uraka was trying to save Deku when his like when that quirk first showed up. Oh, she put those wires because, because of Deku. Oh, that's sweet. Everyone's getting like inspiration from like everyone else when it comes to like their new techniques and everything. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Oh yeah, and they just they just got back after like the whole Korigiri stuff. Whoa, what's going on, Airy? What? Oh, is her horn growing again? Oh. 
point. I still love that. Like, I, I, I honestly still love the fact that um, All Might made notes for Deku. That's so sweet. Like, I remember, like, remember Deku. He was always the one like making notes about everyone else. But now All Might, All Might made notes for Deku to help him out with his new quirks. Oh, that's so wholesome. Also, that's what he was doing this entire time. Like, so All Might was looking to see who would, like the past successors were. So I guess it was trying to like figure out like each like successor's like quirks. So it would probably be a little bit easier for Deku to like realize what's going on. Because remember when Black Whip first showed up, he had no idea what was going on. So now with All Might taking these notes, it seems like, you know, like Midoriya doesn't have to like worry about it. Like if a new quirk pops up, you know, he won't freak out or anything. He'd be like, oh, this is just another quirk from like another successor. So it's all good. But he couldn't find anything about the second or third users. Interesting. Oh, so he could still only use it for a second. But I mean, that's still, that's still really good. Wait, are we seeing like how everyone looked who had um had this quirk? Yeah, it seems like we we saw like so we saw three of them already. Okay, 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 okay. More information about Deku's quirk. It's always nice to know. Float. So okay, what is this gonna be? Oh, this was her quirk. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are they gonna? Are they trying to say Deku is now gonna be able to try to fly? Because with that quirk named Float, it makes you like. What, what do you think of flying? So, is Deku legitimately gonna be flying now? Oh, <laughs> yo, yo, yo! I cannot. I cannot get over this. This is crazy. This is so hype. Yo, if Deku can now legitimately fly. Oh, he, yep. Yeah, him and Shigaraki. Most powerful characters in the series now. What the fuck? Bakako, what do you mean you won? You can flow in explosions. Yo, fucking Bakako, man. He got ruined this. <laughs> Yo, Bakugo, man. Man, Bakugo. Honestly, like, once... The thing is, like, once Deku learns how to float, like... He's definitely gonna be, like, a lot stronger than Bakugo. And then Bakugo is just gonna get pissed off again. Wait, 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 wait. What Hagakure just did there? Am I seeing this right? Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Hagakure just made that hot pot, like, practically invisible. Yo, if Hagakure can, like, bend light that way to make things, like, seem invisible. Yo, that's gonna be a, that's gonna be, like, a big asset for sure. But, like, also what's interesting about this is, like, how they're having such like a nice time with each other, you know, like eating hot pots and everything and like laughing about like finals and everything. You know what's coming up next. It's just war. So like most likely this is going to be like the last time that they're going to have a moment like this for quite a while because of that war that's coming up. Like, bro, like this is going to be like something we're not going to see for quite a while just based because of like because of like the war that's about to happen. Wait, 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 hold on. Did I did I just like not read that right? He wants you to postpone your meeting with Stain. Oh my gosh. So which means we're gonna see Stain again soon. Most likely. Oh we're gonna see Stain again soon. Oh my gosh. And I was gonna start Aries training next week. Oh that's gonna be nice. I want to see how powerful she gets. It's going to be so adorable, like, having her fight. Like, I doubt she's going to be, like, a fighter. Like, she's probably just going to be support and everything. But, like, still, it's going to be really nice. Man, this music kind of sounds, like, ominous in a way. This is... Oh, man, this is going to be crazy. 
Jeez. So like Hawk is saying like there's still like a backer, so it means like there's still like something up. Bro, they're just hyping up the war. The next this they're, they're hyping up the war. Oh man. X Day will be here soon. Ooh. Oh man, this is gonna be crazy. Like it seemed like they were just like hinting at so many things in like that last moment. Like I feel like they were hinting a bunch of stuff. Like with, with like All Might, you know, he said like you know he decided that he wants to live or something. So it's like, are they trying to say something might happen to All Might soon? I feel like that's what they're saying because like they also showed um, Sir Night Eye again. Remember, like he had like he used his quirk on All Might before, and like he saw like something happening to All Might. I think not not just like losing his quirk, but like possibly possibly like him dying in the future. So most likely in this war, some big character is going to die. I feel like that's what they're kind of hinting at it right now. Ooh, if that happens, that is wild. Okay, um, it seems like there's gonna be a little bit more at the end of this. So let's let's see. Also, oh, they're all going on like. Oh, this is probably the war they're talking about. This is probably talking about the war. Because they're all saying that like, they're, they're, they're each going like on this job on the same day. So, I guess they just they just got word. They're like, oh, this is the day war is about to happen. I think that's what's going on now. This is it! What? Yo, they, they are showing a little bit. Oh my gosh! Yo, they teased. They're teasing us with that. Yo, they are teasing us with that. I was right. The job that they're all going on, because like they said, like they're, it's almost done. With, they're almost done with spring break, and like, hold on, let me. I gotta see this again. I gotta see this again. This is crazy. I gotta see this again. Yeah, because yeah, they said they're all going on this like big operation on this certain day. And then afterwards, we see later, hold on, afterwards, you see later, they're in this town. And then we see this, the, the one girl that works with Endeavor's agency, you know, they said they're going to be evacuating residents. And now look at it. They're all here. And they're talking about the League of Villains. The Paranormal Liberation Front, our fight with them. Yo, they're teasing us so bad with this. Yo. So yeah, next season for sure. Next season for sure they're doing this. Oh man, this is gonna be crazy. Which means right away in next season, right away in the next season, like probably episode one, war. Just straight up war. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. This is gonna be hype. Oh man, I am so ready for this. What? Oh, just that last moment. That last moment. They're about to really fight in this. This is gonna be crazy. Yo, this... I, I like this episode. I, I like this episode a lot. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of crazy stuff going on. Like, if anything, like, most of this episode was just like, you know, um, find out that Deku's most likely his next quirk is gonna be Flow, which was, um, um, which was All Might's Master's quirk. So, yeah, he's probably gonna fly. And then, you know, they're all just like, you know, they're all just like having hot pot together, you know, they're just like, you know, having a good time because er, after this war starts. So like, this is literally going to be like the last time they're going to have like this kind of moment with each other for a while because this war, like Deku said, it's going to be a big one because they're going to be going up against a paranormal liberation front. Yo, this... It, this episode or like the, the next uh, the next season it's gonna be wild and then it seems like like i said like at the pretty much like near the end of this episode you know with not endeavor with um all might and aizawa talking it seems like all might was they're like hinting at like either all might or like some other like big character might end up dying in this in like um during the war which most like is most likely because you know I feel like that's what's gonna happen. Either it's gonna be like All Might, Endeavor, Hawks, someone like some big character is about to is gonna die in this war, and that's gonna be crazy. Also, Aizawa is gonna be training Aerie. 
So that's gonna be really nice. Like I said, she's not. She's most likely not gonna be like, like an offensive like hero. Like you know, she's not gonna have like offensive attacks or anything. I think she's more just gonna be like a support hero, which would make sense with her quirk and everything. But I mean, I feel like there's a way that you can make it to where it's offensive. But right now, I'm really thinking she's just gonna be like more supportive hero. But yeah, I, I can't wait for that war. You know, big fights are gonna happen. Like big battles are gonna be everywhere. There's a possibility, like, a big character is going to end up dying in the war. And, yeah, who knows? Deku might end up showing off new quirk. I don't know. This is going to be... Next season is going to be a wild season. Way more wilder than this season. Way more wilder than, like, pretty much all the seasons they've had. The war is just going to be, like, the craziest thing. And most likely going to be one of the craziest things to happen in My Hero, like, entirely. But, yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more anime reactions and more reactions in general and even discussion videos in the future. So yeah, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for that. Like the video, comment, you know the whole thing. And so yeah, until next time. See ya.